Hi, and welcome to everybody's favourite section, the mailbag. I promised I wasn't going to do that again. Anyway, got an unexpected parcel here. I wasn't expecting anything today, but let's go and see what's inside. And try to find a place where I can actually open this. Uh, yeah. Okay, uh, let's try opening it. No, we'll try opening it like this way up. I have absolutely no idea what's in here. So like I said, I wasn't expecting anyone today. Um, anything to do? Just want to make sure I'm not cutting into anything. Like what I did in the last mailbag, but I actually didn't notice there was a note in the last one. Almost threw away because I didn't know it was in there. Like I say, I have absolutely no idea what's in here, so let's take a look inside. I'm getting a lot of things like this lately. Alright, we're in. As Dave would say, we're in like Flynn. I guess Dave Jones says that. Okay, what have we got here? We got some boxes. I wonder what's in them. And of course, my camera keeps drifting in and out of focus, as most of you have probably known. But that's just because I'm using a cheapo webcam Ooh. to film this. So, okay, there we go. Let's see. Um, as we have inside. Okay, nothing in there, but there's definitely uh, things I could mount circuit boards onto. Let's see what we have in this one. See, looks like I could put some... These might make some nice enclosures for some of my projects. Right then, what we got in here? Let's see. Schematic for something. Oh, I think this might be from someone I was having a PM chat with on YouTube. It was Dado83. And let's have a look and see what we have. I think we've got some. Um, some belts by the looks of things. I'm not sure what that is, but uh, possibly some kind of a seal. Got the little boxes here. I don't know what's in them. I think I know what might be in what might be in them. We'll take a look at that in a minute. Uh, we have display board integrated circuit for something. I don't know what that would have been for, but. Bunch of electric condenser microphones. Well, that's a bit low on those. There's a few bits and pieces in there. We'll take a look at that and let's see what else we have. A couple more integrated circuits. So, I'll just put these to one side. And get rid of that. Out of the way. Like I said, I'm not exactly sure what these are, whether these are belts or some kind of a seal. They're very soft and squishy, so there must be. Must be for something. Anyway, let's take a look at what's in this little bag here. Excuse me. 
Shouldn't have drunk all that coke before I started recording. Draw a little condenser microphones or capacitor microphones or whatever you want to, or electric microphones, depending on what you like to call them. And let's have a look at what we've got in this little bit of paper. So we've got a few bits and pieces here. Okay, speakers. Lots of little speakers, headphone type speakers. So, that just leaves these little boxes here, and I think I know what's in them. Just realised I'm covering up the ventilation port on my laptop with the um, with one of the bags there. That's not a very good idea. Let's see, I think this is a little digital recorder. It certainly seems what... So it looks like what I thought it is. Um, I don't know if these got any batteries in them. In this other bag we should... I think there's another one because he did say sending two. So there we are. Two digital recorders. Some display driver chips for uh, something. They were obviously out of something but I don't know what they came from. electric condenser microphones, some shields or belts, um, I mean seals or belts depending on whatever you want to call them, and a bunch of low power speakers. Oh, and of course some enclosures. And I've already got an idea of what I'm going to use one of these for because, well, Remember my vacuum tube radio that I made? That's getting a terrible lot of hum. Well, I've decided I'm going to make a power supply for that. Well, actually, a power supply for my various tube-based circuits. And this is one of the output power supplies. I mean, one of the power supplies I'm going to use and I'm put in there. I'm also going to put also the other transformers in there and have a nice power supply for my two projects. So I'll have a 60 volt out, a 6.3 volt out, and a 300 volt out. So anyway, yeah, oh my, this video has been a really, really waffly video. Let's just see if these actually have a battery in them and do anything. I heard something click. I don't think these have actually got a battery in them. I don't have any spare wash batteries to actually test that with. Let's see, does this one have one? Okay, they don't, but... Just totally lost my train of thought, but anyway... Thanks for all of that, now I'm going to get on and do some more videos.